The next module over is the print module. You can have a single image, look, a single image per page. You can adjust whether you want a border, right? You might want that, like a border around it. Um, you can choose the color of, of the border. Uh, so we'll keep that black for now. You can choose the color. You can have um, it's resized to fit, but instead or rotate to fit. Sorry. Um, instead of that, we can have zoom to fill, um, and you can rotate it or not, depending on what you're looking for. You might want a wee thin stroke or no stroke at all. That's how you take those on and off. Okay. So if you do have it set up with a printer, it's a very quick way of just running off a couple of test prints or something like that. And again, you can add identity plates. You have all the same options, really. Um, and down here, look, you have under print job, you can select whether it's going to be to a file or whether it's going to be to a specific printer. If it's a printer, you can ask what's the print resolution, 300 DPI or whatever you like. Print sharpening, do you want to add some sharpening here, standard, low or high? It was pretty happy enough with that so it can keep that low or if you want put it on standard whatever you choose and what media is it going to be printed on so is this glossy or matte color management do you want to add some more color management settings if you have a profile or something like that that you want to put in you can load it in there and yeah you just click print and off it goes it'll, it'll print out on whatever printer you have set up here if you click printer again that gives you your options, the actual options that you have for the specific printer, whatever one's closest to you or whatever one you use. And then you click print and it'll print that out for you. Up along the top, just to go back up to here, you've got um, a single page or a contact sheet. All right, under templates, you can set up, uh, let's do one of these for instance. All right, you can, there's loads on here, like four by five contact sheet. So if you selected all of your images, this is quite handy. If you, if you are looking for a contact sheet, which is just gonna have the, you know, the names and the information of, of your individual images, you have a contact sheet template here and you just select all of your images, click print, and it'll print out one sheet with all of your images referenced on there. That can be handy for cataloging or if you're, you know, making a, a CD with a cover of it or you're, you're just uh, keeping a track of all the photos that you've worked on. That's useful enough. Um, and there's loads of other wee ones here. Again, you, you may or may not use them, but it's nice to know they're there. Um, you've also got this thing, picture package, which is if you were sending people out. This is used all the time in like school photos and things like that, where you do up a picture package. So it's a photo of one person. All right. And it's set up to several different sizes. Um, so you've got your, your big one and your smaller ones. You can add, look, photo borders. Uh, do you want to add a border to each of them? That'll look familiar to people who've ever got a, a school photo done. That's, that's what they do, picture package. If that's what you're doing, that's what you're doing. You've also got this one where custom package, which is quite nice as well. You can set these up as any grid. Let's just pick one quickly. Uh, yeah, let's take that one. All right, so a custom package for somebody where you might go drag and drop that, drag and drop that, and drag and drop, you know, that. So you've got three photos. Same options for a photo border, look, you can Add or take away that. Do you want an inner stroke, which is the wee black line that you see there? You might want to take that out or make it thicker, whatever your, your particular style is. And all it is is just making wee adjustments as we go through. And you could then look, print that and it'll come out as a page just for somebody to go flick through and review their photos. So that's map, book, slideshow and print.